Hi, I'm Rob Eater. You're watching Drugstore News TV. You know, pharmaceutical theft from drugstores has been on the rise in recent years, costing millions of dollars, creating fear among pharmacists, and in some cases, keeping patients from the medicines they so badly need. Helping take a bite out of crime in the pharmacy is Purdue Pharma and a new tool they call RX Patrol. With us here to talk a little bit about it is Aaron Graham, Vice President and Chief Security Officer for Purdue Pharma. So Aaron, what is RX Patrol? What's it about? RX Patrol is an information clearinghouse designed to collect information about pharmacy crime, analyze it, and then disseminate it to law enforcement, pharmacy personnel, wholesalers, so we can all understand what's happening out there. Okay. And, and how is this being supported? What, how does this come together? Well, the idea is if a pharmacy is a victim, if a law enforcement police officer takes a report, send the information to the RX Patrol database where an analyst can look at the information, analyze it, figure out what's happening, and then disseminate the information to pharmacists so they know what's happening in their community, to police officers so they know what's happening with respect to who is a criminal, what are they doing, is there a pattern, do I recognize the suspect, and then ultimately to Crime Stoppers, so we can help catch bad guys and protect pharmacists and ensure patients can get their medications. And what type of pharmacy crime, related crime, is RX Patrol looking for? Really, RX Patrol runs the whole gamut of pharmacy crime, whether it's a robbery, a burglary, fraud, a forged prescription, even employee theft we're addressing, so that we can protect the entire pharmacy, including a holdup, whether it's batteries, uh, toothpaste, prescription medications, anything stolen, any type of crime in the pharmacy. We also address cargo theft, so when tractor trailers are stolen. Just about three weeks ago, there was a tractor trailer full of $5 million wholesale value of generic Vicodin. Now this truck got stolen, local law enforcement, state police, FBI, DEA, everybody is looking for it. They don't know where it might be. We offered an RS Patrol Crime Stoppers reward offer of $5,000. Within 24 hours, a guy called the TV station, gave up the location of the truck, and according to DEA, these drugs had a street value of 20 to 80 million dollars. Wow! And these drugs were recovered in less than 24 hours, thanks to a $5,000 Crime Stoppers reward offer through RH Patrol. So we're pretty excited about that as a success story. Now I understand that RH Patrol is partnered with Crime Stoppers. That's right. Now how does that come together? Well, what we learned was as we collected thousands of incidents on pharmacy crime. The one piece that was still missing was how do we catch bad guys? Mm -hmm. And what we know is the community knows what's happening. People know who did what, people talk about the crimes they commit. So the best tool to get information out there to law enforcement from the community was Crime Stoppers. So what we did was to go one step further with our patrol, we sponsored $1,000 reward offers for anyone with information about a pharmacy crime. And it's anonymous. So let's say that you hear somebody robbed a pharmacy you can call a phone number, Crime Stoppers, give anonymous information on what happened, and get $1,000 if that information leads to an arrest. That's quite a lot of money. Who's funding these rewards? Purdue Pharma is funding not only the RS Patrol database, but also funding the reward offers. Wow. How many people have been arrested so far as a result of, of the work of RX Patrol and Crime Stoppers? You know, we've had 35 arrests in the last uh, 18 months. And what's been interesting wow. is just this year we've had 23 arrests just through July. Helping uh, pharmacy retailers take a bite out of crime. It's Purdue Pharma and RX Patrol. Thanks so much for your time, Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Rob. Thank you very Rob much. Rob Eater, Drugstore News TV. Keep watching.